let me just take a drink. What do you guys like to drink when you're bidding? Be on the camera. He's a pretty girl. Her real name is September. Look, she hates me. Look, she's not trying to get away. <laughs> Flight 527, ready for departure. All right. Hello. Subscribe everyone. now. Welcome. So it is, uh, what is today? Today's July 12th. And welcome. I'm at home right now and I am off through Wednesday, it's Sunday. But today is um, the opening of second round bidding. Now what second round bidding means um, is that I'm going to be on reserve essentially. So yeah, I got it in my head that uh, I was going to have a line. And I know for sure they're not because I emailed the company to ask them. <laughs> because I don't know why. Like, uh, honestly, like, I don't really totally grasp the rotation. Okay, there's 224 reserves. And right now I am number. What? Now I just don't even see my name. <gasps> Oh, I got fired. Where am I? There I am. 150. Oh, <laughs> I was transposing the number, or transversing, reversing the numbers because I thought it was 105, but I'm 150. Okay, so 150, and then um, if we go back to the lines, so our um, system is called EBS which I believe means electronic bidding system, or it could mean emergency broadcast system, but I don't think so. I'm gonna write this down so I don't forget. So there are 100 vacation lines. So a vacation line is uh, when, so they'll build, they build the lines for people um, that are not a reserve. And if you say you have vacation, sometimes your uh, vacation will overlap with a trip or encompass a trip um, in a line that you bid for. So if the trip is completely within your line, or I'm sorry, if the trip is completely within your vacation time, they will completely remove that trip. If the vacation overlaps just a little bit, because some people don't really want necessarily vacation they just want to get paid extra um, you can keep that trip you just have to call them and let them know but the trips that they pull they build new lines um, or the if people do want them pulled just because they overlap um, they build new lines so that means there are 100 vacation lines built so then <coughs> excuse me then we have AM reserve. So AM reserve goes from, they can call you from 5 AM to 11 AM. Okay. So they can call you from at 11 AM for a trip that starts anywhere after that, but they have to give you two hour notice. So AM reserve, they can call you anywhere from 5 AM until 11 AM. Okay. Right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So that is AM reserve, and there are how many AM reserve lines? I did figure this out the other day, but sometimes it changes, so I don't know that my numbers are accurate. So that's why. I, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Past the end of it. Okay, uh, three seventy-eight. So. 378 minus, whoops, 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 I forgot to clear it. 378 minus um, 356 equals, ooh, so there's only 22 AM lines. And now there's uh, the PM reserve, which PM reserve means um, you are good for three days. Also with AM reserve, you're good for three days and they can call you at 10 a.m. up until 6 p.m. Or five, five. Maybe it's six, no, I think it's five. Um, yeah, I think it's seven hours they, they can call you. 
um, and they have to give you two hour notice or um, they give you two hour um, what is the word I'm looking for What do you guys like to drink when you're bidding? Today, I have sparkling wine, and don't get grossed out, but I squeeze lemon juice in my That's sparkling gross. wine, because it's a little too sweet for me. I even get the dry, and um, sometimes I make a drink called a, a French 75, which also has gin in it, but I didn't really want, like, that was just like too much for right now. So I just did a little sparkling wine and a, like a, the lemon's pretty big, it's from the tree, so it's like a quarter of a lemon. Um, but that's what I'm drinking right now. And also, water. So, um... Okay, so PM lines go from... 379... To... Uh... 400. So 379 to 400 is what, 20? Nope, I did that wrong. 400 minus 379. I could probably do that in my head, but I just don't want to. Uh, is 21. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. So then we add up all those numbers 100 plus. 22, whoops, not 222, plus 21, and we get 143. So now, does everyone remember what number I said I was? Aha, uh -huh, 150. So that means I fall a seven below the number of what I would like to fall. Um, okay, so we do have one other kind of reserve. And it's the reserve. People generally want the least unless you're very senior. Because if you're very senior, a lot of people will pick this up or they'll trade for it because they know they're going to be at the bottom of the list and they're going to not probably get called. Although right now, it's crazy because the reserve list is just wiped out and they're, um, they're offering all kinds of uh, special things for trips. I mean, not special things, but like time and a half. Um, okay, so there are 401, so 401 to 482. So there are 81 <laughs> ready reserve lines, and ready reserve is three days, 24 hours a day, so 72 hours straight. Now, one thing about ready reserve, if you play your cards right, Say you get a two day, the first two days, and then you come back. If you put in for airport standby, a lot of the times you won't get used on that third day. But right now, <coughs> right now it's hard to play those games because um, they have, uh, they are a little shorthanded to be honest. So anywho, so my hope is that seven people forget to bid or something happens <laughs> so that I can be in the top 143 and at least get AM reserve because at least AM reserve you kind of have a stop start and a stop time you're not just 24 hour 24 7 like whatever or not 24 7 but three days you know of whatever they want to give you and um yeah and now PM reserve is my favorite because I can go up to Hi. We got her this carrot with catnip for Christmas. Look, she loves it. Get it. Okay, with PM reserve, it's the best for me because I can go up in the morning, take the first flight up and get there before 10, and I usually don't have to stay in a hotel. Although, being PM, a lot of times you get back late on the third day, so then you have to get a hotel anyway because right now they're not letting people sleep in the crew lounge or they're discouraging it and the quiet room is closed. And then um, for AM reserve, I definitely would have to go the day before, but um, which is not bad because then I get home on the day 
that I get back the third day. So I don't know if that's making sense. I feel like I'm just rambling. Um, and then ready reserve, you're just all over the place. <laughs> So I usually put in for all the vacation lines first because usually vacation is, or trips are usually a little easier to work with. Um, but tons of people trade for reserve. So, all right, so I'm gonna bid some stuff and then I'll, uh, I'll come back and tell you what I bid. Okay, so now I've gone through everything and I'm going to explain to you what I did. Um, I was going back and forth because I know that on ready reserve, I definitely could get what I wanted, but don't really want ready reserve. So I was kind of going back and forth. Do I want to have something that's more tradable or if I end up having to work it, that is more works better with my life. So I decided that I would go with what works better for me and then if someone wants to trade great if they don't then I'm not gonna be pissed at what I have so um, so I bid all the vacation lines um, I started to filter them out but then it became a big mess because it was kind of weird I don't know if this, this is like a glitch or something sneaky but um, I just went ahead and like selected all the vacation lines and then I bid them all but I knew there were 97 of them and it was only coming up with 76. So for some reason, it wasn't putting in the filter all of the vacation lines, which I thought was really kind of shady. I don't even know what that um, means. Because I, don't, I was, had no filters on other than vacation lines. And so I had to go through and like single pick all of the ones that it didn't and hmm, all of them were mostly Hawaii lines something <laughs> but anyway i don't know it could just be a glitch in the program but anyway all of those lines are definitely in my bid not that i will get them i most probably won't but always bid for what you hope to get not necessarily just what you know you can get until you're senior enough when you can get whatever the heck you want um okay and then um my preference of schedule, I know it sounds weird, but my preference of schedule is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I just like to work the end of the week. Um, it's easy to commute in the midweek and um, I get to be home and do workouts with my friends and I don't know, and then I'm home for part of the weekend. So I don't know, I just kind of like it. So, um, yeah, so what I did is I went through on the AM and I picked everything. I did uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I did um, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That way it took one weekend day and then a little bit of the week. So on either end, and then I just added in everything else after that for both AM and PM reserve. I believe I did AM first and then PM reserve. And then um, on ready reserve, I did the same thing. I just picked um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays, and then everything else. I know in Ready Reserve I could get whichever days I wanted, but so hopefully that will work out for me in my favor. And then perhaps if I get lucky, someone will want to trade with me. My anniversary, my wedding anniversary is on the 17th, so I'm hoping that I can kind of work things to get those days off. So in a couple days or in a few days, I will come back and I will let you know what I got and uh, we can go over that. Four to six days later. Hey everyone, I am back to talk about my schedule. So I got my schedule for August and I was actually kind of surprised. Um, so I know I talked about in the first part about the... Um, how seniority works and how like I was going to be under the line as far as like getting the the reserve that nobody wants <laughs> and um, and then I was saying how I was hopeful that um, maybe a few people forgot to bid or another possibility is like some senior people can bid down which means that you can um, what I was mentioning was that some senior people can bid down which means basically they don't bid for things um, that they might not get. They bid for things they know they can get. So um, if they're like not like at the top seniority, so they just bid for something below that and they know they're gonna get it. So they don't even like bother. So, and some people that live local um, like reserve, especially if they're senior, because a lot of times that means they're gonna be at the bottom of the list and they're not gonna get called if it's not busy. 
Um, so this month, July, it's been crazy. A lot of people are getting pulled for um, COVID exposure and people are calling out. Um, yeah, so it's been a little bit nutty. Um, the reserve lists are like, they're going through them like that. Like they're having to like deadhead people, which just as a reminder, that means you fly as a passenger to get to another airport to work from that airport. And um, so a lot of people have been deadheaded to other airports. Cause I know like, especially like Denver and Chicago are really like struggling. Um, so anyway, um, uh, so my schedule, I was a little bit surprised um, when I opened it up and I'm gonna put a little screen shot up of it, what I got. And then we'll all talk about like the comparisons to last month. So um, here's my schedule, bing, right up there. And um, so I got AM reserve, which <laughs> uh, I was glad about because that means like I don't have to do ready reserve. Obviously that's a good thing. Um, but then this last trip I just worked uh, was, uh, it just murdered me. Those AM trips are really, really hard on me. And um, I don't know why the last one I was not tired, but this one I was just, beat when I got home beat and um so I have AM reserve and also it's a like I don't know if it's just an extra long month or what but um I have 90 hours and usually the uh reserve lines are 72 hours so bleh, I don't know I'm trying to trade around but nobody is biting nobody is um talking to me about trading so I'm a little bit like oh what am I gonna do I guess I'm gonna be <laughs> working reserve so the only thing that stinks about that is spending money on a hotel because I do have to go the night before. And um, yeah, so let's look at my last month schedule. This is what my last month schedule looks like. And that is after I manipulated it a lot. I switched it around. Um, I honestly, like I was trying to remember what my schedule was before I changed it because I moved so many, there was so much in uh, available to trade with in open time. Like open time is when people who call out sick, their trip goes into open time and then you can trade a trip you have with it. Um, or people can pick up stuff if they have days off. And um, so there was so much stuff popping in open time. I moved stuff around like crazy. Um, and then I have my vacation days, which I what, did originally have a trip on there, but um, somebody wanted it. Um, it was a it was a Tampa trip, and they have uh, friends in Tampa, so they wanted to go. So. <laughs> So I gave them, I gave that trip away. Um, but yeah, so, uh, and then also if you notice like on my la on the last trip of the month, I have a day that overlaps a reserve block. So what happens when that overlap happens? It depends on if it goes line to reserve or reserve to line. Um, what they'll most likely do is just pull that first day of reserve. I'll keep my trip that I had on there and then, um, and then I'll have a two day reserve block after that which is kind of a bummer because that means I will have to spend another night um, unless sometimes you can call them and ask them if you could please uh, just be stay out. And if it's busy and they're, you know, they have a lot of need for people, then um, hopefully I can just stay out and not have to pay for a hotel. That, fingers crossed. So I will try to do that. Um, other than that, I will be working Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Hopefully I'll get some good trips and I won't have to just sit in Oakland. Um, so that is my schedule for August. I am, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like they have yet to say like about people who are taking time off, like who got it, who didn't. And um, that is something I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video. So stay tuned um, because some interesting developments have happened with that as well for the extended time off and the retirement plans and all that. Um, so anyway, that is it. That is my schedule. I will be working for August and then we'll see about September. I'll let you know. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more trip videos. And I'm going to do an unboxing video, which I've never done. <laughs> and um, I really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing and commenting. Um, if you comment, make a comment. I will always reply and I appreciate comments so much. So just give a little shout out down at the bottom. 
say something like, hey, I'm here, or I'm a new subscriber, or whatever, like just uh, let me know that you've watched. It really um, helps my channel and I really appreciate it. It warms my heart. Um, so anyway, that's it. I hope you guys have a great day.